Hello everybody, I'm Palkyofano8 and welcome back to Tales of Eternia. And I swear that Miki's statue is giving me the evil eye. <sighs> anyway, I apologize for not uploading anything the last couple of days. I've been pretty sick and I really didn't want to upload or record for that matter. When my voice is sounds like this. <coughs> yeah, didn't really sound that good now, did it? Yeah. And just so you know, this is post-commentary. At least the first part of this episode. So if the text boxes are on the screen a little bit longer... Oh, go southeast across the ocean. Eventually you'll see land. You'll find ruins there. Oh, that's bad. nice timing. You can board the ship from the pier. Come on. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, if the text boxes is stuck on the screen a little bit too long, that's why. I did start recording but my voice wasn't really good. Yo, nice meeting you, boy. From a, gen from a gender standpoint, calling me boy isn't appropriate. And my name is Chet, and since I'm the owner of the Van Elkia, call me captain from now on. Call me captain from now on. All right, Chet. Ah, <laughs> oh, Max. To clarify, Reed and his friends are my subordinates, and you? Who's going to steer? Can I steer? Where's the steering wheel? Oh, If you don't listen to me... Quickie's gonna rape you. You're a cute one. <laughs> let us set sail. Yes, let's. So, um... Yeah, I... Uh, my throat isn't completely okay yet, but it's better than it was when I tried recording last time at least. Last time though, Max joined us. Very, very nice. And we want to go to Ruins of Vault. But before we do that, let's go into the ship. And we want to talk to Chat, because something is gonna happen if we do. So it seems like you require my assistance. Have Chat joined the party? Oh heck yes! A captain should always be on board the ship, but... Very well, I'll keep you company. Chat has joined the party. Yes, if you talk to her, she will actually join you. When controlling chat in combat, press the square button and... The moment you're hit by an enemy at normal attack to counter. So that's very cool. My first time through this game, I didn't know she joined. I actually beat the final dungeon before I talked to her. I was wondering if she had any special dialogue to, for me, but she didn't. She joined me. <laughs> so that was that was a pleasant surprise, I suppose. Anyway, now we want to go to Ruins of Vault. And there we jump cut into the future. Yeah, now it's not post anymore and my levels are a little bit higher. And my equipment is a little bit different too. I okay, maybe not yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, we want to go to the Ruins of Vault. And the easiest way to get there is if you check your Celestia map and you find Genie. A town that we haven't gotten to yet. And you will go directly west from that place. Let's go! And while we go there, I will talk a little bit our, about our new characters. Let's start with Max, shall we? Max is a very... Hey, what's that? Hmm, interesting. A very optimistic character. He usually just nods and shows his agreement with a simple, enthusiastic yeah, which we already seen many, many times. <laughs> he loves the Miekis, which you should get by just looking at his office. If not, well, you might need glasses. And wow, we're actually already at the ruins. I didn't know it would go so fast. Huh. Yeah, he loves Miekis and that's why the badge we got is... Or it was a Miekis badge. We will see more of Max's love for the Miekis a little bit later. He is also very, very reckless. Maybe even more than Farah, which is actually kind of scary to think about. Oh, maybe I should enter this place now. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll, we'll see a perfect example though about that very, very soon. This is where the Greater Lightning Cradle is? Yeah! It says something on this stone marker. Can you read it for us, Mary? You bet! 
Uh, where's Max going? Oh. It says when ancient tree in west is touched by dawn, standing in eye of dragon and sing emerald song. I don't get it. The ancient tree in the west. I bet it's a clue to opening the door. Kiel was always the one to figure these things out. Well, technically it was me, but okay, fine, fine. Yeah, the smart guy's gone, so now it's just the bunch of idiots left. If only Kiel were here. Yeah. Oh, well, let's try to find... What the hell was that? <laughs> Alright! Uh, I hope Max knows what he's doing. Who needs Keel anyway? We got Max, damn it! <laughs> oh. Max? Yeah. Blech. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah! <laughs> I love this guy. You're Mr. Carefree, aren't you? Yeah. Let's be careful, everyone. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And Max got the title of Mr. Carefree. Yeah, he really, really, really deserves that. Now, let's check a little bit on Max here. As you can see, his strength is insanely high. 316. And Reed, he's not even in the 200s. Max has almost, <laughs> almost double the strength that Reed has. And now you know why I almost failed math. <laughs> he's insanely strong. So you really want him in your party in here. Let's go over his skill too. We only got one right now though. It's called Burning Force. The enemy is shot with a large fireball. It's very, very nice. All oh, right. And now in the ruin of, ruins of Vault. And we want to equip the uh, stun charms on everyone. See? All oh, right, I don't have enough yet. <laughs> so this place is a little bit annoying, really. It's uh, it's pretty long, so I might cut this episode in two. I don't know yet. Can you read this, Merrily? Grasp the three stars as one color they shine. Open the door to which the color shines. That's it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But okay, where did that come from? Okay, lunch number 38. That's uh, very nice. <laughs> now, let's talk a little bit about chat. This is how she looks, by the way. Very... piratey. Voyager, yes. Chat is a very confident girl. Who really, really looks up to her grandfather. She's a very honorable pirate, just like her grandfather, and she loves machines and other technology. She's a techno freak, but we already seen that. She also really likes puzzles, which we already seen in her hunt. Ugh. And she also has a phobia of animals. Which is why I really, really like hers and Quicky's relationship. <laughs> so, this room is pretty special and a little bit annoying. The blue door is closed. 14 is, is engraved on the door. So, what you have to do in here is you have to press these switches. As you saw, it said 14 on that door. And all of these switches has a number on them. So what you have to do is push the switches with the corresponding number. And then add them together so you get the number you need to open the door. So since the blue door had a 14 on it. We want to press number... The one that says 6, I believe it's this one. Yes, plus 6. And then plus 5, which is this one. And plus three, which I believe is this one. Yes, the blue door opened. Very nice. And uh, on that one, I was actually using a guide. So what? Sue me. <laughs> uh, if you get stuck, then it's a pretty good guide on game facts, just so you know. And here we got the final stun char. So there you go, Max. Yes, you really, really want those stun charms for the next boss. Believe me. They will help a lot. Oh, damn it. <laughs> One step after Holy Ball ran out, of course. Oh god, I hate these guys. You know what, I'm just gonna run away. I hate those neuroids or whatever they're called. You have to... Yeah, okay, thank you, Max. You have to jump to attack them, and it's 
very annoying. And as you saw, Max's burning force skill is like magic. You have to charge it up. But I believe the Max's skills will use uh, his strength though, so uh, and that's why he's so damn strong. Max later in the game will be a complete and utter monster. The perfect boss killer. And I love him for that. <laughs> anyway, here we get the big bag. I just wish it was like the big bag in Mother 1, but no, it is a weapon for chat. You remember we saw the uh, a bag in... Uh, or was it Peruti? They sold the bag? Which is of course weapon for chat. A bag fully ro loaded with the power of Kramels, as you see. The bags give a very good... or chat is actually very strong. You could actually, I believe the earliest time you, you can make chat join you is after the uh, battle against Celsius. So you could use her against Iris in Ayman. And she would actually help a lot with her uh, power hammer skill. Oh, madman, okay. <laughs> These are a little bit annoying too, they will paralyze you. Or stun you, sorry. If you're, if you're not protected against it. And as you see, I have a lear I learned some new skills, like Spiral Attack. Okay, you couldn't say it. Fine, but yeah, thank you for thank you for that. But uh, yeah, some new skills, pretty good ones too, like Spiral Attack. It's a very good one, and I think that's all really. But yeah, I didn't really show you chat skills. She had Pow Hammer, which Mint had, and it was called uh, Picohan or yeah, something like that. It can sometimes cause a KO, but it will most likely just stun the enemy. And she has a rover tool, which you can use to steal items from enemies. So that's pretty cool. An honorable pirate stealing items from enemies, and I just went the wrong way. Yes I did. That was stupid of me. I apologize. I don't know this place that well. Uh, is it here I want to go? Oh, yeah, yes it is. Ah! Let's go back, you stupid. Open this for a all divide, and there's a shiny here. We get a fuse. I wonder what we can use that thing for. I'll bet we find something after a while. So, I, once again, I apologize so that I haven't been uploading lately. Uh, I, it really, my voice was almost completely gone. Here we get the pirate hat, which, surprise, it's for chat. First time playing here since I didn't. Okay, Chat's Afrid hat looks a lot cooler. But oh, since I didn't recruit Chat, I had no idea who those uh, the big bag and the pirate hat was for. Anyway, we want to get through here, but how do we do that without taking that much damage? You want to shoot your freeze ring on that fire. Did I hit it? No. There we go. That should. Yes, there we are. And it will take away the electricity. So, the free string is already handy. But what would we do if we got here before we fought Celsius? <laughs> okay, we couldn't do that. Anyway, here we got some new enemies again. Tall man. I don't really know what's so special about them, but... Oh well. <laughs> they don't have that much HP, apparently. Boom. Yeah, Burning Force. Very powerful skill. And I believe... It can hit multiple times. Or I might be thinking about some other of Max's skills. Now we're back here, so let's just go back to the number room. So now we want to open the white door, but before you try to step on the right switches, you want to take away or step on the switches you used before, or else they will just be added. And you won't really get far with if you do that. Anyway, the white door. I'm just gonna tell you, you need 17 to open that one. So we want this, 11, and we want this one, which is 4, and this one, which is 2, which will open the door. Very, very nice. Oh, come on. Let's do it. Imp Bell. What the heck is this? Looks like a bomb or some sort. Anyway, use some DNA, please. Oh, by the way, I did level grind a little bit, as you saw. And 
while I did that. Meredy actually summoned Undini all by herself. I, I'm not kidding, she actually did that. I was so proud of her. But that was just once, and the next three times she didn't do that. So I don't know why she wouldn't do that more, but oh well. It's not that difficult to make her, or force her maybe. <laughs> uh, let's see, I believe, yes, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in magic. Anyway, just use the freeze ring here again, to do the same thing. How I, how ice will take away fire, I don't know. You inserted the fuse, okay, so this is where we needed it. What does it do? Whoa! Okay, that was pretty cool. I believe if you go over here, you'll just get back to the entrance. I might be wrong though. I don't really know this thing. That Ouch! Ow! Holy shit, that hurt a lot! Uh, nurse. Thank you. Wow. I don't really know how to get through here without taking damage, but... Oh well, I got through here. I don't really care. And that was a huge waste of TP. I'm hungry. Yeah. Shall we stop and rest? Yeah. No? Oh, fine. Melody is sound asleep. She must be exhausted. Especially since I'm in, she's been so... It's almost hard to watch. Hey, there's something I've been wondering for a while. What is it? Why do you suppose Meredy is so driven to stop the Grand Fall? Because she don't want to die, perhaps? I don't know. She wants to save the world, right? I guess so, but would any normal girl come this far alone? She's not alone. Hey, you never know. She's human. People can be complex, you know. She's a Celestian, outcast. Stupid elder. You too, Thera? Maybe. Well, anyway, we're not the only ones worried about Merity. Oh, yeah. There was someone else, wasn't there? Everyone loves Merity, right? Well, you don't know how right you are, Farah. She got a lot of creepy fanboys. I don't particularly. Bullshit. Oh, Reed, fess up. But I. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't get so excited. Oh, how cute. Oh, not really, but okay. What was cute was Max sleeping. Oh. Yes, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's just creepy. <laughs> oh, let's move on. This place is long, as I said before. Whoa. What is this room? We better be careful. Leave it to me. <laughs> uh, I see. Huh? <laughs> this ain't gotta be easy. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think brute force is going to get us through. We need a clue. Hey, that's right. Let's look around. Figuring this out is going to be tough without Kiel to help us. Hey, I'm here, you... Ungrateful bastard? Yeah. Why do everyone think I'm so stupid? Uh. Well, maybe because I am, but... No, I don't want to camp. We don't talk about that. Yeah. Everyone makes fun of me back home here. It's not fun at all. Pine gel, I can take it, and we get a panacea bottle. Okay, good enough. Uh, I love Max's gun. I don't know if it's really worthy the title of BFG, but uh, it's close at least. What is this? A device of some sort? No, it's a cookie! Yes, it's a device. Farah, I got it! Look at the panel. There's a slot. I bet we're supposed to insert something into the slot. Well, if you really, really want to, then... Huh? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, fine, we'll find something. Yeah. 
Reed, do you want to say something? Uh, no. Oh, uh, nothing. Aw, oh, he had the same idea. <laughs> That's so mean, Farah. You're so mean, bitch. What the hell is that? This has been a crappy, crappy episode up till now, haven't it? Oh, great, more switches. Oh. Yeah, the green switch opened the green door. It's pretty simple, won't you say? Ooh. And we get a thunder cape, which is very, very useful. I'm going to give it to Reed. And I will show you a pretty neat little trick. Thunder cape that reduced lightning damage and wind damage by 30%. Remember all those aqua capes we had? Well, if you use a rune bottle on them, they will turn into thunder capes. Which we so oh so want. So now we got enough for everyone. And believe me, you want it. You want it bad. There we go. There we go, and... There we go. That will help, or that combination will help big time against the next boss. And here we got another rune bottle. <laughs> and a red sage. Nice. 10% up in HP instead of 5. Let's see. Ooh, what's that? Here we get the holy staff. I wonder who's gonna get that thing. Yeah, surprise, Kiel's coming back. Uh, actually, the holy staff is pretty good. It's our first holy elemental weapon. Just too bad it's for Kiel, which is not supposed to attack anyway. Anyway, take this thing. Read, that must be it. The key to the device. Maybe we'll manage without Kiel after all. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm the one controlling you, you know. Stupid impulse. The door is not open. Fine. So let's go all the way back to the color switch room. But uh, anyway though, what uh, what you guys been doing the last couple of days that I've been gone? I know I've been playing a lot of my Wii U. I love this thing. It is... I, I'm so pleasantly surprised with the thing. I love it. We get a Voltic Sword. Now, just like every other... Ooh, it looks cool. Like every other weapon you get in a Crable Dungeon, you do not want to equip it. And you might be able to guess why if you see the name. It's Lightning Elemental. So do not equip it or else you will really, really regret it. But yeah, uh, my Wii U. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't really be talking about that, but seriously, the zomb Zombie U. That is the wrong way, stupid. Zombie U is one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. Let's do it. Oh, Savage Beast. Uh, I don't think these guys are any special either. They can once again stun you, I think. But they're not that much HP either. Oh well. I might be a little bit over leveled though. And Max just. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank you, Max. And Max just slaps the enemy with his gun and they all die. Very nice. Uh, I love that you can have Max's laugh after battle. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Okay, you know what? The... Now we want to go back all the way to the control panel. Yeah, I went all that way just for that wake-up charm. And it's not really that useful. But oh, well, it's not that far to the control panel. <laughs> Here we go. Read the thing we picked up. Right. Oh, it's an eye. <laughs> it worked. I wonder what it did. Let's go back. Yes, let's. Now that we got the brute force, hint hint, we want to go back. Yeah, we want to camp just to get our HP back. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a hard battle coming up. Or more annoying than hard, but still, it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's more annoying than hard, but yeah, it's it's it. annoying. <laughs> anyway, stupid savage, savage beasts. And as you can see, this room is now a lot different. What we want to do here now, though, is we want that electricity to go to the upper left corner. Over there, I believe. So, you want to, once again, step on switches. 
So this one, and then I believe it's this one. And uh, let's see. I don't really know this one. I think it's this. Yes, there we go. But now we're stuck. We can't get anywhere. So what do we? W what should we do now? Go back and press the first switch you pressed. And now we can go all the way around and through this door. Very nice. And we are actually at the end of this place. Through this door. And do not go any further. If you take, at, I, I believe, just one more step, you will be thrown into a battle. So, I think this is a good place to end this off. So next time, we will see what is emitting all that electricity up there. So until next time, Apalkifano 8, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.